Hi, I'm Colin Jacobson. I'm Eric Jacobson. We're members of the Knights, and um, we'd love to talk about our favorite five non-musical sounds, or maybe the most satisfying non-musical sounds. So I'm going to start off with a tennis cam. Um, I used to play a lot of tennis. One of the most satisfying things is when you get that fresh can of balls, and then you you know you open it, and there's a pop, and then the hiss of air out, and then you rip off the 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 top, the, the metal piece, and then you're ready to go. So there's a lot of anticipation and fulfillment involved with opening a can of tennis balls. That's nice. That's nice. the slicing sound of that metal. Yeah. Okay, so my first is pancakes, and this goes back to a story that uh, our father used to cook pancakes on Sunday morning breakfast, and I remember he, he told us to check the temperature of the uh, stove, the grill, was the way to do it was to take your hands, get them a little wet, and just spray it right onto the, onto the grill, and depending on what the sound of the water was on the grill, you would actually know if it's time to cook the pancakes or not. The non-satisfying is when it kind of just b -b 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 bubbles, but you want it to dance when the water's just dancing on that grill. That's you know that's the time that's ready for the pancakes. So not only the sound of the water dancing is great, but the anticipation of those pancakes and the maple syrup is, is really great too. <laughs> Moving right along, the next one, uh, uh, the next non-musical sound. Uh, is a paper cutter, you know, the big slicer. And it's very simple, just slicing through it. It's also about anticipation, fulfillment. And um, I think actually uh, some composers have even written pieces using paper. I think Tam Dunn wrote a, a paper concerto. So I don't know if he, I've never heard it. I don't know if he uses that sound, but I love the sound of a good piece of paper being sliced cleanly. Nice. Um, there was a time when I went up north in Minnesota, three, four hours north of the city, uh, north of Brainerd, and it was November, and the lake that we were staying on was frozen. Didn't know how, uh, how thick the ice was, but we went out to the ice um, and decided we'd make an ice bath and chop a hole in the ice so that we could jump in. And we started hacking away at the ice, and eventually we started getting these chunks up. We needed to clear it from the water. They were freezing. Um, and I remember just reaching down and pulling out these cl uh, chunks of ice, throwing it to get it away from the, the water that we were actually going to jump into. And the sound of this giant brick of ice hitting the ice on the lake, which was, of course, the, the sound traveled so quickly over thin, uh, over, over uh, solid ice. And uh, the shattering of this piece of ice on the lake, on the frozen ice, and how it reverberated across the water and back and forth. I couldn't stop doing actually that that hole got to be so big because I kept on wanting more big chunks of ice to chuck on the rest of the lake. <laughs> so that was a story from uh, outside of New York, but um, you know we all have the experience of being in our apartment and hearing a honk a screech, a curse, and then hopefully silence. So actually, that's the the final uh, favorite non-musical sound might be silence in the form of um, waiting for something to happen and it not being fulfilled is a good thing sometimes. So that's our top five most satisfying non-musical sounds. I'm Eric Jacobson. I'm from the Knights. And I'm Colin Jacobson. Right.